Hey everybody, I am Archer Arkan and welcome to another one of my videos. In this video I want to talk about the regeneration team. I had my series about uh, the teams you can do with anniversary characters, but I left out the regeneration team. And there is a very good reason for that. At the moment, because of the fusion, regeneration is... I don't want to say bad, because they're not bad, but they have a very, very big disadvantage. Of course, because of uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, they have a disadvantage against a lot of teams. They have a disadvantage against the future, against the gods, uh, fusion of course. So basically they have um, a really big disadvantage against three of the top meta teams. <sighs> Do you know what I'm talking about? No? Ah, let me explain. Super Saiyan Blue Vegito hate any fusion character. In my team, because I don't have uh, an evil 21 that uh, is more than 3 stars, that is why I am using fused Zamasu, uh, I am using basically two fusion warriors. Yeah, Omega Shenron is fusion because all of the Shadow Dragons fused together and gave the power to Sin Shenron in order to give birth to Omega Shenron. And Fused Zamasu, I mean, let's be serious, it has Fused in the name. So basically, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito has advantage against these guys. And if you're playing against somebody that has the Fusion team, most likely they will also have Super Vegito. Which, of course, he has the regeneration tag. Because in the Dragon Ball series, that it was all about. It was Super Vegito versus uh, Buhan. Actually, imagine Bu absorbing Gohan, blah blah blah. So, when you have such a big disadvantage advantage against the best, not the best, maybe they're not the best, but against the top meta team, what can you do with the regeneration team? And the answer is, not much. Really, not much. I mean, you can hope to actually encounter somebody that is using another team, but if they are using... Uh, any sort of meta team, you are going to be in a big, big world of problem. In this match, the reason actually why I wanted to show you this match was a different one. <laughs> yeah, I know, shocking. This guy, if you look at the loading screen at the beginning, he had a fully Zenkai Young Trunks. And I was thinking like, hmm, can this be the first and probably only match where I see in PvP a fully awakened Future Trunks? And the answer is no. I'm sorry for everybody that, is, that thought that Future Trunks is going to do a lot of stuff because he's being Zenkai Awakened, because he's free and blah blah blah. He is blue. What is his competition? It is Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. There is no contest there. No contest. I really cannot imagine a scenario when somebody is going to pick Trunks instead of a 2 star Blue Vegito. And that's the simple reality. As a conclusion, Regeneration Team, as long as the current meta holds on, they are going to have an extremely hard time because they are using, of course, the Regeneration and Fusion tag. Even if you are using Evil 21, you are going to have slightly better results, but not really that much, because the main damage dealer is Omega. Oh well, we just have to wait until the time comes again. And if you guys work hard on, the, on Zenkai Trunks, his time also will come a little bit later on. Thank you for watching this, I am Archarchan. See ya guys!